All right, all right. I know. I know. I am no retired Colonel Dick Hayslip. Not at all. I get it. Plus, I'm not as good looking as him either. So, I try. Welcome back, comrades. Glad to have you guys back. And I hope you're glad to see me as well. And, uh, this is the Wiggies Freedom Shelter Summer Weight Sleeping Bag. This is going to be a overview of this bag. Now, this goes hand in hand with the Freedom Shelter. Now, but there's a kicker, and we'll get to that here in a little bit. <clears throat> I guess that's the word kicker, I don't know. So, this is Wiggies Summer Weight Freedom Shelter. I said it, Freedom Shelter Sleeping Bag. So you're probably wondering, Freedom Shelter sleeping bag? Well, yes, this sleeping bag goes hand in hand with the Freedom Shelter. It configures with it, which is really, really, really cool. And if you read the history about the sleeping bag and the Freedom Shelter, um, retired Colonel uh, Dick Hayslip is the one that came up with the sleeping bag. He wanted this sleeping bag to go, uh, to go with his Freedom Shelter for his troops or for the, for the Marine Recon. And uh, that's what this bag is. However, it was an EcoTac bag originally, but since they're not in business no more, Wiggies has taken over and has the patent, the copyright, and all that stuff. And so Wiggies continues to make the bag. And they also make the Freedom Shelter, which is made with a little bit different material, I believe, than the EcoTac, the original one, which is the one that I have. So. We will get into a little bit of that here in a little bit. The sleeping bag comes in 0 degrees, 20 degrees, and your summer weight, which I think is 40 or 50 degrees, I believe. And I have the summer weight one. Now, I will have links down below, <clears throat> of course, to Wiggies, where you can order these from. And by no means, I'm not selling for Wiggies or anything like that. This is my first purchase from Wiggies, so... And you guys, I think, are really like this. I like it. I think it's a cool system. I have yet to actually use a sleeping bag. But just the whole idea behind this system is just, to me, it, it's really awesome. And this is going to be my go-to system from now on. I'm, I'm pretty sure I finally found, I think I finally found that go-to system. So, but anyways, let's carry on and let's start checking out the configurations. And stay tuned to the end because we're going to do a configuration but I'm not able to complete that configuration because well you just have to stay stay tuned until the end and I'll tell you all right guys let's check them out so for the comforter we're going to fold it open that makes sense fold it open probably not here's the inside here's the hood so we'll just take this Fold it around. <sighs> Get underneath it. And if you want optional, you can Velcro the hood to seal it off. get in, we'll take our Wiggies pillow, and we'll go nap nap time. Uh. Okay, to turn this into the sleeping bag, we'll take the bottom here, and we're going to start the zipper process. Okay. Alright, we got it zipped. And before we zip it all the way up, you gotta get the feet. Such pretty feet. You know, I used to be a foot model for QVC. Believe it or not. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. So, anyways. We have the two draw cords down here at the bottom. 
And we're gonna cinch our feet inside here so they don't get cold at night. So we bring them in. Cinch up that side. Come on in. I guess if you don't want these to come undone at night, I guess you could just tie them off. Just a couple overhand knots. You don't gotta worry about coming undone. Okay, before we zip this up, we are going to draw the hood in first because this hood is different than most mummy bags. It's very big. And it's, it's very hard to do it when you're in a sleeping bag. So, Okay, we got that cinched up. We'll take our pillow. Get in here. Get our head in the hood. There we go. And then we'll zip her up. Oh, I got that pillow. There we go. Good night. Okay, for the long coat, we're going to take it, the bottom draw cords out from the sleeping bag configuration. Open that up. Then we're going to unzip it. About right there. Just like the EcoTap Freedom Shelter uh, short coat configuration or long coat configuration, we're going to step into it like trousers. Then grab the, the poncho hood part, carry it up, put your head through it, <laughs> and then voila, you have the long coat. Okay, last but not least, the poncho. And so we're going to unzip it from the long coat configuration. We're going to unzip it all the way. Take the boonie hat off. Grab your poncho inside hood. Then pick it up and grab it like a poncho and put it on. There is the poncho configuration. But wait a minute. We're missing something. We're missing the Freedom Shelter is what we're missing. And the reason why is because the Freedom Shelter that I have is the original EcoTat. Well, the zippers, or the zipper on the EcoTat and the zipper on the Wiggy sleeping bag, they're both YKK zippers, but they're a different size. So I can't zip this poncho configuration into the poncho configuration on my EcoTat Freedom Shelter. Let's go check the zippers out real fast. Okay, so here is the Freedom Shelter summer weight sleeping bag zipper and here is the EcoTat Freedom Shelter zipper. And if you can see right here on camera, the Wiggies has got much bigger teeth. YKK zipper, same as here, it's YKK on the EcoTat but a much finer tooth. And this is why I cannot zip the Wiggies sleeping bag into the EcoTat Freedom Shelter. All right, so you saw the zippers. So what are we gonna do? <laughs> Cause I can't, I can't get the original EcoTat um, sleeping bag, which I, I'm not for sure. I think Wiggies did make them if I remember reading the history of it, Wiggies did make the sleeping bag for um, the Marines and the, the military back in the 90s. <clears throat> but anyway, so there's a different zipper, it's not going to work. So guess what? I have to buy me the Wiggies Freedom Shelter. 
I have to if I want to use these together. So we're going to make it happen. And uh, there's four different colors of the Freedom Shelter. There's the ugly ACU. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with that one. And then you have the OD green, or like olive drape green. And there's the coyote brown, I believe. And then there's the multi-cam. And that's probably the one that I'm going to get. So, we're going to have to wait until I get that. And then we'll finish off this shelter configuration with the poncho sleeping bag freedom shelter configuration. So, Alright guys, so there you have it. There's the Wiggies summer weight freedom shelter sleeping bag configurations. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And tell me what you guys think about this whole system, you know, the freedom shelter and the sleeping bag and stuff. What do you guys think about this? Do you like this? Do you want me to keep making these videos? Um, I really enjoy making them. I'm hoping you guys are too. And, uh, but yeah, that's, that's the summer weight one. So, stay tuned for some more upcoming videos. And hopefully, the freedom shelter that will zip into this one. I didn't show it, but on the long coat, you can put the EcoTat Freedom Shelter over it because it doesn't require any kind of zipping. But I'm going to save that for the other video that I'm going to do with the Wiggy's Freedom Shelter if I do one. So, alright guys, so hope you enjoyed. God bless you. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. I can never get it right. I think it's right there. Anyway, so yeah, hit that button. There's all kinds of other videos around the screen. Like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and tell them. Scotty Survival sent you. Until next time, see you in the next video, guys. God bless.